Um, hey guys, so I was thinking, a lot of people use fake plates for airsoft, right? Um, like plastic or rubber ones to protect themselves when they get shot by BBs. Um, and they'll put them in their plate carriers and stuff. Um, but I was thinking, let's say you don't have enough money to buy a fake plate, or you think they're too heavy or limit movement or something like that, or you just don't like them that much. You can easily make your own fake plate for airsoft out of cardboard, just doing that. So I decided I'm just gonna do that today. And um, I've never done this before, I'm just trying it out, but it should work. Just maybe have two layers of cardboard, um, tape them together, put them in your plate carrier, and it's not a real gun, it's just an airsoft gun, so it doesn't matter if you have a real fake airsoft plate or just cardboard. And it should protect you from an airsoft if you just fine. Um, so I'm gonna do that, let's go ahead and try it out. Try it out. All right guys, so what I got here is some cardboard, um, this is the plate carrier, just, just a airsoft plate carrier that I'm going to be putting the plates in. This is a pencil, um, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to, I have an actual airsoft plate here, just a rubber one, and I'm going to be tracing this one to cut out my cardboard plates, although if you don't have a plate like this, you can just use your plate carrier to kind of help you. Um, and I'm going to have some scissors to cut them out. So I'm going to put this plate carrier aside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a plate. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my plate down and I'm going to trace it. I'm going to try, since it's rubber, you can kind of flex it and squish it a little bit. I'm going to try not to do that too much so I don't mess the shape up. Alright, I think I got it. I got the shape of it. I'm going to use the scissors to cut it out now. And this is just a cardboard box. You can just use any cardboard you want to. So here's what I did. It's kind of hard to cut a perfect shape when it's still attached to the box. So I just cut out kind of a random shape um, with the plate. And now that I removed the piece from the box, I'm gonna cut it in a good shape. So. All right, there we go. Uh, that's my first plate. Pretty good, cut it out. Let's compare it to the airsoft plate. You see, pretty much the same shape. It's pretty good. I'm gonna try putting it in the plate carrier now. There I go. It's in the play carrier, just fine. One thing um, I'm gonna say is, whenever you're cutting the plates out, um, be careful that you don't bend them uh, whenever you have each piece out. So make sure you don't bend them. Because most likely what I'd recommend doing, what I'm gonna do is to have at least two pieces paired together so they're stronger and less likely to bend on their own, just for moving around. So whenever you're cutting them out and you have these single pieces, be very careful to not bend them um, because cardboard can really easily bend this way. Um, all right, so I'm gonna cut out a couple more pieces and then I'll be back.
All right, guys, I've cut out all my plates. I cut out four here. Um, so I can have two in the front and two in the back. They're all looking pretty good. I like them a lot. And keep in mind, you don't have to have two in the front or two in the back. You can do what you want. Um, for example, you can just have one on each side if you want to. So then it's a little bit easier to move and lighter. Um, but it won't be as much protection. If you want more protection, you can do two, which is what I'm going to do. Or you can do more. You can even have four plates on one side for a lot of protection. It just might be a little bit annoying trying to move, it, move around because it's kind of thick. But you can experiment with different thicknesses of the plate and kind of make up your own designs and do whatever you want to, um, which is pretty cool. But I'm going to have two on each side. Um, so let me put them in now. <clears throat> I have my plate carrier here. There we go. There we go. I got my plates inside. That's feeling pretty good. Let me go ahead and try it on. All right, guys. Now here's something optional you can do. You can take some duct tape and put it around the edges um, of the plates. And this can do two things. One, it can hold the plates together. And two, it can prevent the cardboard from grabbing onto the fabric of your plate carrier. The edges of the cardboard may grab on um, to like the plate carrier because it's fabric and it may grab onto stuff and they're just most likely not but there could be some problems um, every once in a while but if you put some duct tape since it's smooth on the end it's just duct tape it should help it slide into your plate carrier better um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing now I'm gonna be putting some duct tape on the edges um, and mainly on the top edge because that end goes into the plate carrier first so I'm just going to take my duct tape. All right, so I've put duct tape all along the edges of the top here so it's easier to slide the plate in. And uh, I'm just gonna put one piece on the bottom to hold the place together. All right, here we go. You can do the other one now. All right, and I got the back now too. All right, so now you can see because of the duct tape, I can have no problem sliding the plate in.
Boom. All right, guys, I've put the plate carrier on now. I got two plates in the front and two plates in the back. And as you can see, it works pretty well. Um, these plates should offer great protection just against an airsoft BB. Um, it's pretty thick. It keeps the plate carrier pretty sturdy so it's not all flobby and wobbly. Um, so it's better to have some kind of plate or something in there if you're going to be wearing gear because if you're not, the plate carrier is just going to be fabric and really soft and wiggly and stuff. So it works for that. It's really good. It fit fine in the plate carrier because I got the sizing right and everything seems great with it. Um, after putting it on though, um, I have noticed there actually is one con. With a regular plate, as you can, you can see on the part that goes against your chest, it curves in so it's more comfortable. This is a piece of cardboard. It doesn't curve in. It's just flat. So it definitely is not as comfortable as a regular plate would be because it doesn't curve and it doesn't fit perfectly against your chest. Although, I mean, you're not really going to be wearing this for protection against real bullets. It's just for airsoft. It's whatever. So in my opinion, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't really a big deal. It may get a little bit uncomfortable after wearing it for a really long time, but besides that, it shouldn't really be a big deal. Um, but just keep in mind that is the one con. All right, so I decided that I'm going to try maybe bending the edges a little bit inward so that it can be a little bit more comfortable on your chest. So I'm just going to go ahead and try that. All right, I think that might be a little bit better. I'm gonna try the other one. All right, I'm gonna try it on now. All right, guys, so I put the plate carrier back on with the plates a little bit curved on the edges. I do actually think it worked. I think it's a little bit more comfortable now. Um, it's still kind of flat, a little bit uncomfortable, but it definitely is a little bit better than before. So if you are going to do this, um, I would I would definitely recommend maybe adding at least a little bit of a curve on the edges, not too much, but a little bit of a curve kind of on the edge to help it fit against your body better. Um, but anyway, that's the end of the video. Um, thanks for watching this. If you don't have an airsoft plate or you can't afford one or it's too heavy or whatever, um, and you want to make a lighter one or a very simple one, I definitely recommend doing this. Just, all I need is some cardboard. Just cut it out, um, put it together, put it inside, and it works fine. Remember, this is for airsoft, and it's just an airsoft BB. It should protect you just fine. Uh, don't try this with real guns. Uh, it's probably not going to work. Um, anyway, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Come back to my channel again, and I'll see you later.